So welcome to the Lord's Supper Talk for the Eastland Church of Christ for May 17th, 2020. Uh, our topic this morning is the first Passover. As you'll discover, this lesson is particularly tailored for the unique circumstances that we find ourselves in as we gather together this morning. So let's look at the, the Lord's Supper in New Testament times and even in today. We notice that the disciples gathered together. That was an important part of of what the disciples did as they celebrated the Lord's Supper. If we look at Acts 2, 41 and 42, and we read, And that day there were added about 3,000 souls. They were continually devoting themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. And in Acts 20, verse 7, at the very beginning, we read, On the first day of the week, when we gathered together to break bread, and so today we gather in the same manner. We gather together as a family, as a, as a church family. We gather together as they did to break bread. But when we go back and we look at the first Passover, the first Passover was a very different affair from what we celebrate today. The first Passover marked the 10th plague of the 10 great plagues against Egypt. And it was the great event, it marked the great event, uh, that then marked the escape of God's people from captivity. So we can turn to Exodus and we can see the account of what became the very first Passover. Looking at Exodus chapter 11, verses 4 through 7. So Moses said, Thus says the Lord, About midnight I will go out in the midst of Egypt, and every firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. From the firstborn of Pharaoh who sits on his throne, even to the firstborn of the slave girl who is behind the handmill, and all the firstborn of the cattle. There shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt, such as there has never been nor ever will be again. But not a dog shall growl against any of the people of Israel, either man or beast, that you may know that the Lord makes a distinction between Egypt and Israel. So we continue on looking at Exodus chapter 12. We see the first Passover itself taking place. And what we see is we see individual families that are huddled in their homes there in Egypt. And they did something very interesting. They covered their doorposts with blood, the blood of the sacrificed lamb, so that death itself would pass over them. As the Lord said in verse 13, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And as we, as is pretty obvious, I think, from the context, the term Passover is literally a reference to the Passover of death, passing over the Egyptians, for they were brought into salvation. And as it were, as this was a great plague in all of Egypt, there was a great lament that went out throughout Egypt. In verse 30, we read, and there was a great cry in Egypt. So as we look at the Lord's Supper today, as we're celebrating it now, we find ourselves in a very different circumstance, but in many ways something similar to the original Passover. As individual families are huddled together at their home to celebrate the Passover, and perhaps we do so with some fear and an anxiety as we look at the pandemic that we find ourselves in and the threat to human life and, and, and health that it is. Um, we also find ourselves living in unprecedented times we have to go back a hundred years to look for something similar to what we're experiencing now. And certainly the people who experienced the first Passover experienced a time that we even speak of today. So we certainly live in unique times now, but we also live in a very unique moment in which we can reflect on the original Passover as we gather together and huddle with our families, perhaps even, even with some fear and trepidation. But when we do so, we are remembering our own Passover lamb and looking at 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 18 and 19, we read, Knowing that you were ransomed from the feudal ways inherited from your forefathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. And as it were, on that first Passover, death had come to the land of Egypt, and yet by the blood of the Passover lamb, the people, God's people were spared. 
And yet that is true of us today in the New Testament. But we have a new Passover lamb. We, by our sins, separate ourselves from God. But by the Passover lamb, the precious body and blood of Jesus Christ, we have passed over. We are passed over from the consequences of sin, and we are born into a new life through Jesus Christ. Praise be to Jesus Christ, our Passover lamb. Amen.